Hey everyone, I'm Traver and you're watching SoCal Disney Dad. Today we are at the Japan Pavilion in Epcot because we are going to Teppan Ito. Teppan Ito is a hibachi grill sit down restaurant here in Japan and we're excited. We haven't been back in a few years. It's one of our favorite places to come. So let's get going. So we checked in for Teppan Ito and we waited downstairs till we got the text. And then once you get the text, you can come upstairs and you go inside and they're gonna seat you. Uh, we will be seated with other people because the way that hibachi works is that it's a show and they don't wanna do it just for one couple, but they have plexiglass and dividers up in here. And so we're gonna uh, come in here and, and check it out. And we'll, we'll give you the scoop on Teppan Ido with COVID guidelines. Here's the inside. I'll let you go ahead and check in. So off to the right is seating for Tokyo Dining, which has not resumed. It's only Teppan Ido. Um, and so we're gonna head down this way in a minute. Doing well, thank you. No. Yep, yeah. Three or four times. Yeah. <laughs> so here's how they have it set up. They've got two parties. Uh, they can have a total of eight people around the table. Since we only have two, we have two here, and then they've got four seats over there. And then they'll do the show right here on the grill. I do see now that we are seated, they have a table over there with no divider. So that's if your party is larger than four, uh, up to eight. So between four and eight, you can fit your whole party over at that grill over there. So they do have that ability. Of course, then they want you to scan to get the menu. So one of the primary draws for this restaurant is the show. Um, they serve all the food, and you'll see in just a little bit, they serve all the food in slow courses. So if you are coming here hoping to just get all your food brought to you on a plate, this is not the place for you. Um, they're gonna make a big deal out of cooking all the veggies, and then they're gonna hand you your veggies and nothing else. And then they're gonna make a big deal of cooking, you know, like rice and things, and then they'll hand you rice and nothing else. And then they'll make a big deal of cooking the, the meat, and then they'll hand you the meat. Now, there's a couple of things that you can do here. You can just let them pile everything up until it's all on your plate, or the intent is that you slowly eat things as they do the show. Um, we so, recommend that, otherwise it gets cold. Yes, yeah, so you don't want your food to get cold. You want to eat it while it's warm. So um, this is a really, really exciting thing. But before the show, they bring out um, salad and uh, soups as well. So in fact, they just brought us these uh, little these veggies. Um, and this is what it looks like. It's not a salad, but uh, it's like little bits of cucumber, it looks like in here. And uh, is that seaweed with the cucumber? Yeah. Seaweed in the cucumber, yep. So, um, but they have a, a couple of different options and things here. Just a sneak preview, um, the guy over here is currently cooking there. So that's what we'll have in just a little bit. Thank you so much for coming to the final today. Because they are everywhere. Our favorite 
<laughs> I went to school, I went to grade school here, um, and then over the summer I would go to Japan, and then I would go to school in Japan. So I was always at school. Yeah, bilingual. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't learn English until I went to school here, basically. So. I wasn't able to, I went back actually last year in February, right before everything went crazy. Yeah, so, so when like the princess cruise was on the news, I was like, I was actually in the hotel, I was saying I could see it. And I was like, oh, the cruise, everyone's talking about. Yeah. mentioned uh, it's kind of like an eat as it comes available type thing and then they brought out some white rice to eat along with it um, they have these two sauces so the white sauce or the I guess it's like a off-white uh, is a yum yum sauce and then this is like a, um, a ginger type sauce the, the darker one that's used for meats you can use the yum yum sauce for anything though uh, but uh, the top sauce is specifically for meat only. Oh, I just finished up our meal at Teppan Edo. And uh, I always love that meal. Mm -hmm. Definitely no complaints. Uh, it was very difficult to, you know, chat and things like that with the with camera the in there. <laughs> there was, uh, well, with the divider. Amy's yeah. talking about chatting with the other people at the table. I'm talking about chatting <laughs> with you all on the camera. Um, <laughs> I said to her, I said, I actually like the dividers because 
yeah, he's those, an introvert. Those antisocial people of us uh, felt like we were um, validated in our antisocialness because you can't talk through the divider. Uh, and Amy, on the other hand, it was like, I didn't, couldn't talk because there was a divider up there. Uh, um, but, but no, uh, good, good meal. Um, what I was, uh, what I was getting at was just that it's very noisy, very loud in there. And so doing our normal dining review type thing where we take a couple of bites, let you guys see our, our reactions and whether we like things or not. Um, it wasn't really the best, uh, option for that, but, uh, you at least got to see most of the show and, um, our server was really, our, 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 server, our chef was, really our chef was great. Oh, uh, you want to talk about her a little so bit? So apparently she said that she's only been a chef there for three months and it was kind of by default. She used to be one of the drummers right over here at the little pavilion until they got rid of that show. <laughs> and so then they moved her into this restaurant because they were short staffed as a server and then I guess decided, hey, you should be a chef. So she said she's only been a chef there for three months. So for only having three yep. months experience, we thought she did a great job. She said um, she, she learned uh, how to cook on the job. She yeah. knew nothing about cooking <laughs> uh, before that. But um, they said because of her strong forearms from drumming and everything that she was better suited uh, a as a chef than as a server. So uh, they, yeah, they moved her up to that. She also told us that she grew up uh, here in the States, but that every summer she went back to Japan and she went to school in Japan because and here. Their school system yeah. is on a different time schedule. She yep. literally just went from school to school, <laughs> back to school. <laughs> but uh, she's bilingual and uh, yeah, she uh, otherwise, uh, oh, she said she came also, she said she came here right out of high school. High school. I'm not sure how much of that you caught on the video. I know we had some of that conversation on the video, but it was really neat just getting to, to chat with her and uh, learn more about her. And uh, so a big portion, if you didn't know, uh, ever since Disney closed and then reopened, uh, there have been hardly any international workers here. Uh, all the international workers got sent back at the beginning of the pandemic. And uh, she, since she lives in America, um, she is one of the uh, international people in a sense that that they can, you know, could bring back. And so they do have some um, international servers and workers here I still, say, you'll but notice, they're the ones that didn't go back. Like if you're walking around, you'll notice the ones that are actually in the international garb for that country. Those are the ones that are still the either, they probably aren't international workers, but they're from those countries Correct. who live in the States. Now, yeah. the people who are in like the flag um, button up shirt or just a regular like Disney outfit, um, nothing special. Those are like the American workers who probably worked in one of the other restaurants or places that are closed right now because there's still lots closed who they just kind of sprung into a different job for the past year. Right. Lots and lots of different people have all sorts of different jobs now. Um, they're just they're using them where they can and um, it was just it was great to hear her story. As far as the actual meat goes it was cooked to perfection. The shrimp and the steak were phenomenal added those dipping sauces the the um uh i want to keep saying garlic but it's ginger the ginger, ginger soy. the ginger soy sauce and the yum yum sauce both have their own unique flavor i was dipping them each individual yeah. like i was just going every other uh there's not one i prefer over another they each have their own flavors and it was really really good um i just i love this meal it's this is the probably like the fourth time out of 10 disney trips this is the fourth time i've come here the first three Disney trips that I've ever made were with my, um, when I was a kid, uh, with my whole family, and they weren't really big into this sort of thing. So over half of the trips with Amy, I've We're come to this there. place. So, you know, it's just, you can tell it's one of our favorites just by that statement alone. I actually really like the view from up here of the entire Japan Pavilion. You can come up here, anybody can come up here not like you can only come up here if uh, you have a meal here with that then uh, we are done here at Tep and Edu thanks again for watching if you want to see more videos like this from our Walt Disney World vacation go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and we will see you again next time